Good morning, happy new year. Um, if you watched my last vlog, I did a, oh, you're kidding. Ruby, if you're gonna walk through, at least say hi, lovey. Say hi, Ru. Say happy new year. Okay, happy new year. Um, if you watched my last vlog, I did a New Year's Eve vlog, and today I'm doing a New Year's Day vlog. Um, gonna talk to you guys about my goals for New Year's. Take you along with me as I start to instill these healthy habits. A lot of these habits I had last year, it just wasn't doing them consistently. And as I said in my last video, I'm very sentimental, and I love just starting off 2022 with a fresh start. Like, I stayed up until 2 a.m. last night. I would have loved to stay in bed till 10 this morning, but my body woke me up at 7.45. It's nine o'clock now. I basically laid in bed till 8.30, just trying to go back to sleep, but I wasn't able to. For breakfast this morning, we're having a gallon of water. Not all of it, obviously. We are having some egg bites. I got this cute little bash. Um, it's from Target, it's like 20 bucks. I got it in a Yankee swap and it makes these cute little protein bite eggs. Super easy. You basically just make your eggs how you want, like the liquid, so pour some milk in, cheese, whatever you want, bacon, sausage, and you pour it into these cute little cups, and then you close it, and for like seven or eight minutes it cooks, and when you take it out, it's these cute little round circles, and you got these little egg bites, and I made these a couple days ago, and I'm eating them now, just heating them up in the microwave. I'm eating those, and if I'm still hungry after that, I have a banana. I don't know if I'm gonna be hungry after that, because these are kind of filling. Anyway, on the agenda today is to clean my house, um, exercise, shower, go to Target to get a new journal, and grocery shop. So we're gonna get that all done. All right, I just worked out and I showered, and we are headed out to do some errands. Where are we going? Um, first, I'm getting donuts. It's a necessity. Target, <laughs> the Amazon store, Kohl's. All the things. Yes. I need to get a new planner. What do you need to get? In a journal. I think a journal. grocery shop. That's not. Oh yeah, we'll do that too. Really what? I don't need anything. I just. I'm here for the here ride. For the ride. All right. <laughs> we left the boys because they're still sleeping. Yeah. So here we go. All right. Me and my sister just got back from. We went to Target, Kohl's, and the Amazon store. I didn't get anything from the Amazon store. She was just doing a return there, but I did get some cute stuff from Coos. Basically, with their Kohl's cash, like, I just get so invested. I did a lot of my Christmas shopping there this year, so I had $40 in Kohl's cash that expired tomorrow, so I didn't want to go to waste, because it's, it's not like, you know, like super cash at Old Navy where you have to spend 50 to get 25 off or something like that. Like Kohl's cash is just straight cash that you can use at Kohl's. I got this oversized large men's um, Nike hoodie. This is like the color. I don't really have any sweatshirts that color. And that was 50. So that was really only like $10. And then I had a 20% off coupon as well that doesn't work on Nike, but it works on other things. So like this, I got for like three or four dollars. It's um, it was originally six, and then I had twenty percent off. It says kind people are my kind of people. I don't have I have a lot of like kindness shirts for school, obviously, but I don't have that one. And then this vest was fifty percent off already, plus my twenty percent off. So it was only like sixteen or seventeen dollars, and it's just real, real cute. It's giving me like teddy bear vibes. <coughs> I'm gonna throw this on over my cute little workout set that I'm wearing today because I have to take off my coat because I'm back inside now. But like just wearing this today, little shimmy there. Just wearing this short sleeve today is too cold because it is 45 out and really, really rainy. So this is the hoodie. I think it's cute. I mean, it serves a purpose, right? It's nothing special, but it's cute. And I needed to spend that $40. So with everything together after my 20% off and my Kohl's cash, it was like 30. So not bad. Then I went to Target and I got a ton of planners. Basically 
like my New Year's resolutions are to journal. So like I used to do a couple years ago something called like a high low journal where I would write every day the high of the day and the low of the day. And I loved that. I got away from it though. So I want a journal where I can like write about those things or just like moments of realization, um, like good memories, things like that. I also want a journal where I can keep track of my workouts and my meal prepping. And then I needed two journals. I needed a planner and a journal, right? For those two things. And I somehow ended up with four, but I did have a Target gift card for most of it. I only spent like $8 afterwards. So let me show you what I got. And of course I'm the queen of pens, right? Like I have so many flare pens, ink joy pens, all at school, paper mate, whatever. But I want pens at home. So I'm like, obviously I need new pens. And I got UB pens. I've done like multiple giveaways with them before on Instagram, but they're great. This is my favorite one that I got. It's polka dot and this is a planner. So this is where I'm gonna actually like go in month by month and oops. And I'll write down my workouts and my meal prepping. This one was like literally like $4. I got it. I thought this would be a good journal to do my high lows in. And then this one, I loved it. It was $3. You could tell it's from like the tar Target dollar spot, but I love the print on the front. It literally gives me like giraffe vibes, but it's just blank. Like there's just blank pages. And I was like, what could I use that for? But it was only $3. So I'm like, I'll find a way. And then the last one, this was actual giraffe vibes. This one was $10 but it's super velvety soft in the front. And I really like spiral notebooks because I'm a lefty and it's really hard to write in notebooks when you're a lefty. But this one like opens like flat. Like it's not like I'm gonna be like, like this one's like a really nice flat one. So all of that should have been like $55. But with my gift card, it was only like $8. So yay. All right, I'm gonna quick make my bed and then I'm gonna clean up my room a little bit and I'll check in with you guys later. It's only, I'm gonna say it's only, I mean, it's been a busy morning, it's 12, but I mean, I've already worked out, showered, eaten breakfast, did my shopping that I need to do today. And all I really need to do today is like my budgeting stuff on my laptop and then grocery shopping. It is like 1.30, 1.45. Um, I'm just putting away some laundry that I never put away from this week. I also just finished my budget at a glance for 2021 and you guys know that I'm a budgeting fiend like I budget my money like crazy all year like I keep track of every little purchase but I'll tell you why it's rewarding at the end of a year and the start of a new year is because I can look back from 2016 and see how much I've made in 20 every single year how much I've earned um so yeah made or earned how much I've spent in every single year and how much I've saved. Like, yeah, I have the month to month breakdown, but then you can look at the total. So like I, I saved this amount of how much I earned this year. This year I was able to save 30% of what I earned. I set a really high goal for myself this year. I wanted to save 50%. And I feel like even like the best budgeters don't do that. Maybe they do. I don't know. That's kind of a lot, but I can use my stuff that I found out about this year's um like basically what I saved and spent and earned this year now I can use that to create goals for next year and you know I didn't hit my goal my financial goal but I certainly got close and I did better than I did last year and that's really all that's important so put my laundry away then we're gonna go set up our journals if you remember yesterday I was talking about how I'm like inspired and all of a sudden like super invested in neutrals I'm, like putting away my new sweatshirts and quarter zips and crew necks and all that and I'm like oh look at that gray white tan cream neutral city and my outfit neutral um and these two sweaters I bought neutrals and this purse I bought um, I just finished my devotional I've been reading. It's called The Well-Watered Woman by Gretchen Saffles. And it took me a really long time to read, but it was really, really good. I highly recommend it. It's linked on my Amazon storefront for Christian devotional recommendations. I read like 40 pages today because I was determined to finish it. All right, doing some homemade apps tonight. We got Ian on the buffalo sauce, the homemade bustle, oops, 
Re run it back, run it back. Russell. All right, we got some homemade apps here tonight featuring Remy on the floor right in the middle of the business. Ian's on uh, homemade buffalo sauce over here, as well as chicken breasts. Kat's on... Fried pickles. Fried pickles. Bobby and I are on nachos. He's currently de-seeding the jalapenos. I'm spreading the cheese. And I shredded the chicken. Shred the chicken. Shred the chicken. Got fried pickles, chicken wings, nachos, crispy chicken sammies. Bobby. guys so I just sort of did a time lapse of all the journaling I was doing as you remember I have a lot of journals that I bought and I'm like I'm unprepared for how to manage them and navigate journaling for the first time in my life I don't think I told you but I used to keep a high low journal um, a couple years ago and I just write the high and low of every year and I really like that so this is my high low journal and I will write the high and low for every day I also, at the front page, just put in my daily habits I want to try and um, hit. And there are six daily habits that I sort of narrowed down on. First one is 100 ounces or more of water a day. Next one is just to exercise. I'm not trying to be specific about that because I've come to terms that based off of what my body needs with my injury and stuff, like I'm going to need different types of exercise. So exercise, reading a devotional every day, whatever it is, um, reading my Bible, journaling, and stretching. So six of those. Um, and I color coded them so that I can look back at this and then fill in my planner and sort of look at each day. So like for today, for example, I did five of the six. And I could kind of look at the month spread, which I think will be good for me. And I was talking to a friend today about how to like make it manageable because I'm going from basically like not being a journaler at all to all of a sudden like wanting to write down everything in my life. That's kind of a lot. So I was thinking of maybe not filling this in every day, but using this app that I just downloaded called Done. You, if you pay for it, um, you can, I just got like the promotion where it was 10 bucks for the year. You can, <coughs> I was looking for my water and I realized it's holding up my phone. You can add as many goals as you want. So I put those six daily goals and I made goals for the week. Like I wanna do this five days a week, four days a week, seven days a week, six days a week, whatever. And I'll do that during the week. And then on either halfway through the week or on weekends, I'll fill it in so I can look back on it through the year. And then for every month I created like short-term goals. Obviously I have my, right now I have 10 New Year's resolutions. I'll probably add more to it. Um, 10 New Year's resolutions, but like for January, I have short-term goals, which they don't really feel like short-term goals because they're for a whole month, but in retrospect, they are. And so um, my three goals for January are to get healthy. I've been so sick the last like two months and I just, I don't know what to do, but I need to get healthy. Um, I want to pay off my car this month. Uh, my lease ends in the middle of this month and I want to just pay it off in full. Pay it off in full. So that's my second goal. Third goal is I had this idea to create a group chat of a couple of teachers that I'm friends with on Instagram who I know are believers and set up a group chat with them so that we can like keep each other accountable, share Bible verses, share sermons we listen to, prayer requests, all that. Um, I want to set that up because you know I've reached out to the girls and they're interested. So it's just like me taking the next step to actually see it through and sort of manage it. So those are my goals for January. And then like I said, I'll continue to do this month by month. So those are those two journals. And I bought this one to actually journal in. So like I have a journal entry for today. And today, like I, I don't wanna do like scripted journal entries where you like have to like answer all these questions and stuff. I kinda just wanna like journal what I'm feeling. Like today, I was just like super satisfied with like, all, like feeling grateful for like a fresh start and for like online sermons I listened to yesterday. So I just wrote about that. Um, so like this is where I'm gonna do my journal entries. And then I have one more journal and I think I'm gonna use it. I can't remember what I decided I was gonna use it for. I wrote this all down on my little planning sheet last, um, tonight. I think I'm gonna use it to write down like all the recipes that I try, so stay tuned for that. Anyway guys, I'm gonna head off. It is late, I am tired. Um, 
and we're gonna get ready for school soon so Thank you for watching my day in the life for New Year's Day. I hope I inspired you to set maybe some new goals or resolutions or maybe try some new daily habits to um, try out. So I hope that you have a wonderful start to your year and feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok underscore big heart little minds underscore um, and subscribe on here. And yeah, thanks for watching. Love you guys.